started, you know, everything. Uh, dance, musical theater, theater, acting at six years old. From the time I could talk, I was performing in some sort of way. And as a kid, um, you know, when your parents are like, oh, come and do the thing for the company. And the kids are like, I don't know. I was the kid who was like, all right, what are we doing? I'm like singing, dancing. For me, I don't ever want the answer to be no. The answer always has to be yes. So if I'm in a meeting with a uh, production company, a director, a agency, a whoever, if they ask me a question, the answer cannot be no. So it's, do you have a resume? Yes. Do you have a website? Yes. Do you have a promo package? Yes. Do you have a press kit? Yes. If the answer was ever no, if I was like, ah, oh, I don't got my voice demo yet, the next morning I was working on it because I never wanted the answer to be no. I used my entire being to tell stories. My voice, my face, my eyebrows, everything on stage. And it comes from being an actor. I had more courage to find my voice on stage as a stand-up comic because I already took the risk and found it once a year. So I found my voice in film school, now I need to find my voice as a stand-up comedian. Film school was just a completely different experience. It, was, it allowed me to be who I am and, and what I am today. And it also changed my life completely with, in terms of um, you know, discovering who I was. So comedy has taken me all over North America. I performed at the Comedy Store, the main stage of the Comedy Store in, on Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood, California. This is a place where like Seinfeld, Letterman, Pryor, Carlin, all these like amazing headlining superstars perform. And I got to do it. And I got asked to do it. It was insane. Life is like surfing. It comes and goes in waves. So either get in the water and play or don't. But if you're in the water, stay in it. You don't lose unless you get out of the water.